a slightly accented version of Twas the Night Before Christmas. Twas the night before Christmas when all true to house, not a creature was stern, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes the St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Ma and her kerchief and I and me cap, we just settled in for a long winter nap. When out on the lawn there rose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new-fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below, when what to me wondering I should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Dunder and Blixen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. And in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each tiny hoof. As I drew in me head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came, with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes was all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys was flung across his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes out he twinkled, his dimples out merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and a smoke had encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a round little belly that shook when he laughed, like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him, in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I'd nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk, and lay in his finger alongside his nose, and given a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard an exclaim, for he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Merry Christmas from me to you and yours.